Omen, I mean, what's your problem? I've done nothing. There's only one person who worked for both Pop and Cottonmouth. And there was another shooting this morning tied to all of this. Would you call that nothing? Ooh. Simone Misick exploded on the scene <laughs> as Misty Knight, a Harlem detective who has her eyes on Luke Cage in the Netflix smash hit, Marvel's Luke Cage. Oh, welcome, welcome. Simone. Thank you, lady. Netflix actually broke down. Broke. People went on and they could not get on and watch the shows. We broke Netflix. You broke, you broke Netflix. You broke it. It was, yeah, it was really exciting. Um, and you'd never expect something like that. You know, it was funny when it happened. Yeah. I thought, who messed up Netflix? <laughs> Are they sabotaging us? Like, I thought it was, like, some other country trying yes. to just undercut Luke Cage. But no, the fans actually did Amazing. it, which is awesome. I, and it was, I think, because it was the first time that a show has aired in that many countries at once. Yeah. So... Pretty, it just shows how much people are excited about it. Yeah. How has your life changed? Like, can you go out? Do people always want to come up to you and talk a little misty? You know what? People are really, really nice, but they do catch me at the most inopportune times, like when I'm just running around looking crazy with no makeup <laughs> on and my hair on one side of my head. They're like, hi, I love you on the show. Can we take a picture? And it's like, You please. can't have a bad day. Come you on. You can no, no, no. The bad days come. But they feel connected to this character. What do they say yeah. to you? You know, I, I get a lot of people who are very excited because they love the comics. And so they loved Misty for every incarnation that she's been around for the past, like, 40 years. Yeah. Um, so you have those kinds of fans. And then you, I just had this really great experience. I was getting off the train in New York. And these kids are like... Walking by, and I think that's her. I think that's her. Yeah. It, it, can I ask you? And then they Aww. like all took pictures. It was great. So then you just have people who are new to the series and, and love the show and are happy about, you know, this strong woman. But I love about not just strong woman, you're the first African American superhero. Yeah. I mean, tell me what that means for you and to know that this is a role that you're going to have for quite a while because this is going to lead to other things. You know, I, it's tremendous to be the first female superhero who's African-American um, that was ever created, you know, yeah. and, and to that? meet the, the men who created Misty My is awesome too. because they're, you get to see them watch what they, you know, made 40 years ago come mm -hmm. to life. But it is exciting to know that you have a little bit of job security. Yeah. Because in this business, you just never know. Your mom and dad are here with you today. Mommy and daddy. So what did they think about this role? Where are they? <laughs> Cassandra oh, oh, and Dwayne, Cassandra right? And Cassandra and Dwayne. and Dwayne. Hi, guys. <laughs> they are so proud of her that they had to come in. But what did they that. say about this role for you? Oh, they were so excited, but they didn't quite understand what it was. My dad still calls Marvel Marvel, <laughs> <laughs> which I tease him about. Um, but they... You know, they were just happy I had a job, yeah. first of all. I've been in L.A. for, I was, it was on my 10-year anniversary that I was here in L.A. And so I think for them it was watching the, you know, the fruition of all of this hard work yeah. come together. Um, but they, they're just happy that I'm not, you know, embarrassing them on TV. <laughs> <laughs> that it's a, a good representation of a woman uh, character. But they're, they're just happy I'm happy, really. Super in, supportive. In this season, we see Misty Knight as the Harlem detective, mm -hmm. and she and Luke kind of have something going on. There. There's a little romance mm -hmm. brewing we'll there, but you're not really getting the sense yet of her superpowers. That right. comes later. Oh, right? yeah, the arm, the bionic yeah, arm. She's going right. to have a bionic arm and the whole thing. Well, I can neither confirm or deny if she will have the bionic arm. Um, mm -hmm. I think that there are Netflix and Marvel people around here. You think they're your co-workers. Oh, oh yeah. But really, they're spies. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, in the comics, she has a bionic arm. And if you watch the first season, you may or may not see that. But I think that when it does come together, that everybody mm -hmm. will be really excited about seeing that. Because that is her superpower. In our show, you get to see her with, like, a heightened sensibility. Mm -hmm. We call it Misty Vision, where she can look at a photo or look at a crime scene and kind of piece things together. Cool. But she is not a technical superhero That's when we first meet her. what I love about it her. is it's sort of, it's the real world meets superhero. Yeah. And I think there's, and, you know, you're, you're like the guardian of Harlem, and yeah. you and Luke both sort of have the same interests. Mm -hmm. But we come from opposite sides yeah. of, you know, the table. He's definitely someone who doesn't want to participate in the system. He's trying to get as far away from the system as possible, mm -hmm. whereas Misty very much believes in the system. She's a cop. She chose to be a cop because she wanted to protect her community. And so 
they're at odds in how yeah. to get the same problem taken care of. And then it, it complicates things that they, you know, have so a little moment. Oh. I like that Simone good is moment. good at basketball, that Misty's good at basketball. Yes. And Simone, have you always played? I have. You know, I started playing basketball in the third grade. And I quit for a year because my dad got me into basketball and I was like, I don't want to play anymore. And he's like, you're going to play. And so that was <laughs> yeah. it. And I played all the way through high school. I was co-captain of my varsity basketball Ooh, squad. Really good. So when they when they put this in the script, I was like, do they, how do they, how do they even know that I can do that? Yeah, I and didn't know you had didn't. to audition for that. that. I didn't know. No. She sinks it. Watch her drain all of these. Look you at the know, Oh my gosh. There's a part of me yeah. that's kind of upset because the way that they cut it, you, people are like, did you really shoot that? Yeah. I was like, I shot those <laughs> consistently. <laughs> She's the superhero. Thank you. There you go. Nice she can to shoot it like you, that Simone. anytime. And mom Season and dad, you must be so and proud mom and dad. Dad. Season one of Marvel's Luke Cage is available <laughs> on Netflix. It, it didn't break forever. It's back. <laughs> All right, he had a huge crush on.